What's up guys? So today I'm going to be filming a video for you guys. I'm not 100% sure what I was going to do today, but I know I wanted to get up a video because I haven't put up one in a really long time, it feels like. I feel like I haven't even filmed in a long time, so this is kind of awkward, but we're going to move along. So I figured I would include a few favorites of mine because I'm not 100% sure what I was going to film. Um, if you guys would like to see an updated everyday makeup routine then let me know and also let me know what videos you guys would like to see down in the descrip description the comment section below because this a brain of mine is like i don't know it's still mumbo jumbo from all the wedding stuff which if you guys do not know if you do not follow me on instagram just instagram i should probably put it everywhere else um i did get married this past weekend, uh, May 23rd of 2015, Ave. So, yeah, um, I will have a video up soon of the wedding and pictures and everything so you guys can see that. Um, but right now I'm waiting for the photo photographer who took our pictures to give me the disc. So, yeah, but I will put that together for you guys so you guys can see my wedding and my wedding dress. My wedding dress is actually right there um but I don't feel like holding it up and showing you and if you do see my son running he's uh around this house <laughs> so yeah um that was one thing I did want to update you guys on was I did get married uh to my fiance Avi um and I had a really great time but that is also another reason why I wasn't filming is because I had a lot going on. Um, we had a vacation, we had um, the wedding, so my head was like going crazy because I was so freaking busy with this wedding stuff that it just took me a minute. It wasn't a huge wedding, it was small, it was mainly family because that's just what we wanted. So yeah, um, and weddings are expensive too, so that took us a minute, but anyway. So, that was one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I'm probably going to change my hair color. I'm not 100% sure. There wasn't a wave in it, but I had my hair up, so now there's a wave in it. I was going to do a hair tutorial, but then I was like, I don't feel like doing my hair. So, we just going to talk about some current favorites, and what else has been going on. I broke a nail. I know you guys don't care about that, but... That's just what came to my mind. So, um, yeah. And that's all I wanted to update you guys on is I have been gone because I got married. Yeah. And I'm really happy about it. The wedding turned out great. I was very happy about it. So, getting into the current favorites, we are going to talk about um, a few things. I don't have a whole lot, um, but what's a girl to do when you got to plan a wedding? So, now we're going to be back into the videos and the makeup so yeah, but alright, if you guys would like to see my current favorites, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I have to talk about is this powder. I got this from Walmart. I saw Patrick Star um, talk about this one. I'm not 100% sure if this is the exact one. Um, I'll let you guys know if it is or not, but it looked like it and everything. So I was like, I'm going to get it. And it's the original formula, Cotty Airspun, I think it's Cotty, but I'm not sure, uh, loose face powder, and this is what it looks like, come on, focus here, there we go, this is what it looks like, it's orange, it's obviously clear, here's the back, we want to read the back, but it is a loose face powder, which, this one is the translucent extra coverage, 070 slash 41 and why do you have my charger? Naughty naughty. Naughty. Anyways, but I got the translucent extra coverage one. There are three different ones. At least there was at Walmart. Please don't mind that. It's so nasty, but I'm getting it fixed this weekend. Oh, you got into the M&Ms as well. Lovely. But anyways, um, I have actually been liking this, and I, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I literally just tried it, like, five minutes ago. But I am in love with it. I'm surprised of how good it is for Walmart. 
being at Walmart or whatever, but I find a lot of drugstore products that are way better than high-end products. But this is a loose powder. I don't really go for loose powders because I'm not a loose powder kind of person because they're super messy and I'm not the person who likes to get messy with my makeup or anything. It just gets everywhere and dust and ugh, whatever. But I do love this one. This one I will make an exception for the messiness, but it comes with this little sponge thingy which is an applicator and there's product everywhere yay um but i do not use the sponge i use a brush just a flat fluffy uh, i'll show you where you at brush where you at oh here it is the dual fiber contour brush i do not use this for contouring obviously it's just a fluffy stipple brush, dual fiber, whatever. I just take it, dip it in, and then I place it where I want it. So, yeah, I really like this stuff. It's really good. But I will also bake in it sometimes, and I'll just put it on. Well, I've only used it once, so I baked in it last time. And, um, things are going on my screen. And I just take it, let it sit, and then I wipe it off. I'm sorry for the light going in and out, but I'm bringing all these different color products. <laughs> but yeah, um, I really like this brush too as well with this and the other one I just showed you, which is the Duo Fiber Face Brush and the Duo Fiber Contour Brush. I really like these. There's another one which is for eyes, which I use for my eyes to blend out my shadows. I really, really like these brushes. They're really, really soft and really good. I love Real Techniques brushes. You guys know that. I use them all the time. So yeah, I definitely give this one a thumbs up because I really, really like it. Next thing. Would have to be a non-makeup item, but is the Pocket Juice Charger. It has this little core, which, why is it so small? I have no idea. But anyways, this is what you use to charge it. And then you can take it wherever you want to go. And it will light up here. There we go. See, it's low right now because I was charging it and my son ripped it out. Thanks, for. But anyways, then you hook your charger to it and charge your phone so I have been really liking this because my phone dies probably like 20 30 times a day I swear so this I have been loving and yeah I got this at Walmart for like 10 bucks it was inexpensive and it works really good it lasts up to 12 10 10 hours so yeah I've been loving that um, non makeup item again but I have been loving hand sanitizer scented hand sanitizer you guys know I am a germaphobe I use this all the time I have probably mentioned it in my favorites before but it is the Bath and Body Works pocket backs because I put them in my purse I put them on a little keychain thing that I have on my purse um, and this one is called Orchid and I just love it mm -hmm. warm vanilla sugar is my favorite though so yeah I have been loving these next is something you can just get at the dollar store and at home is the spray bottles water and alcohol I have been using these a lot because uh, obviously I did my girls makeup for their wedding um, I do other people's makeup and stuff sometimes um, I'm not a freelance makeup artist I would like to be I'm trying to get there but um, it takes a while to build a kit and stuff so I'm still in the process but I do do like my families and stuff so I have been using alcohol to clean my makeup brushes I just use a um, washcloth I spray it on there and then I rub the brush in it and it's clean I use the water to soak my uh, sponge thing from Real Techniques this and use it um, I use this to uh, enhance the colors of shadows um, I use it for pretty much anything and everything and I have been loving these I even use them here at home when I need to clean a brush or something real quick um, it's really cheap inexpensive and it's very very handy um, if you're doing a uh, makeup freelance kit like I am um, I would get smaller ones I just got these cuz I just did but I'm gonna get smaller ones for my kit and stuff so I have been loving those even though they're non makeup items but hey they've been working um what else did I want to talk about oh this <laughs> the NYX Ritualistic Illuminator I know I've mentioned this many times in favorites videos but it broke um this is the color right here I loaded the highlight on today can you tell I love highlight so yeah I've been loving this I do want to find some more so if you guys have any suggestions let me know down in the comments below 
Also, I have been loving the Urban Decay Naked Basics one. I'll use this as a highlight, the Venus color with um, the NYX Illuminator, and I love it. It's amazing. What else did I want to talk about? Who? I don't know. Uh, my nose ring? My nose is finally healed. Isn't that awesome? Yay! I will have a separate video, though, on this one. So as you can see, it ain't going good. So, I'll have a story up about that later. But, also, I guess I want to quickly mention this because I'm digging it. Our dark black lips, I know, I know. Some people think it's gothic and everything. I am not gothic. Just because I wear black lips or black clothing does not make me gothic. I hate it when people label people because it's just wrong. I hate it. I don't like being labeled, but... Anyways, I just used an eyeliner because I don't have a black lipstick, obviously, but I'm going to get one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and this is what I use. I would not wear this every day. I would not wear this out during the day. Um, maybe out on a fun night, yes, but I think it's fun to experiment into different colors and different things. So, yeah. I think that's it for my current favorites. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Like that. No. No. Um, so yeah, this was pretty much just an update slash chit chat slash current favorites video just because I didn't really know what to film. But expect another video tomorrow and I will probably do a hair tutorial unless you guys would like to see this look right here, which is my everyday go-to makeup. Obviously, I do not wear this black lip every day. But, you know, it's fun to try things. You've never tried before. Okay, this is getting awkward. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And don't forget to leave a comment down below of videos you guys would like to see next because Krista is drawing a blank because her brain is still mush from wedding planning. So yeah, um, I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.